All right, let's put those eyes away. Let's see, put them in here temporarily. Hmm. This. How much deer hide do I need for the tanning rack? Five, but I need. Oh, I need twenty leather. Uh. Do I have the fun? Yeah, I do. 20 leather, okay. Okay. I'm rested. Got my juicy fine wood bow. I'm going to explore this stretch and then head north. Kill as many boars as we can find. There's a deer over there. And some boars. Maybe it was just a boar. 85. Hell yeah. Okay, that's one. So we're at what, nine? Or seven? One of those? Forget if I had six or eight already. Really no limit to the amount of boars that I want to kill at the moment. I'm looking for bees, bones, and boars. Three bees of early Valheim. And buildings, of course. I guess four bees, but bees... Uh, are in building, so just doing a one combo there. Okay, looks like there was nothing much in here. Means into the unknown, wherever, maybe up here. There's a field, okay. I'm gonna go to the fields, get some boar them fields here we go back to the usual I think I've been in that building an eye out for boar. That's a deer. I need to kill as many deer as I can because of the stag breaker. I need those trophies and bow levels. Let's see. And deer hide, honestly. This is the stone structure. I've already been there, but now we're on the we're at the frontier now. So new stuff, new exploration, all that jazz. Good things. There's a deer somewhere. Oh, there's a boar. Sweet. There's a second boar. Doesn't see me. Looks like it's getting dark, which is unfortunate. Okay. Field, field, field. Where are the fields? Here we go. This is huge. Four stone. Hell yeah. So the rune stones that tell you about boars, they uh, they spawn a whole bunch of boars around them, which is perfect. Finding boar stones is everything in the game. Let's 
see we got a building here ores building can we have bees in this building nope not even the chest or anything it's just the building okay, i want to hit back to the field yeah this is a good sized field we got some black forest over there i can tell by the shape of the trees I'll be a little careful now that it's night time but uh eight eight leather is really good See if we can't get some more. Hmm. Or more. Really good. One hundred. <laughs> That's that is insane damage. Okay. Even more boar. I'm getting really good RNG here. Looks like there's stone structure there but there's also black forest at night so I have to be really careful there's copper right here I already see a great dwarf fantastic there's uh, there's never just one either okay, I want to pair this guy counter one two three four okay Another Great Dwarf Trophy, that's really good RNG. I'm gonna crouch. I don't want anything to see me, although something does. It's probably a deer or something. I'm gonna mark this down as copper. Very important. Siop. Uh, Great Dwarf. Come here. Getting all sorts of good levels. No bone fragments. The bone fragments are probably underneath the copper deposit, which is really annoying. I'm going to do a pro gamer move and get those carrot seeds. Oh, that's terrible. I didn't even see you. But these are the bones that I'm looking for. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I dead? No, I'm not, but I have to be careful. Uh, eat one of these. I didn't see that shaman coming up behind me at all. Okay, I'm just gonna pick raspberries and let the shaman and the skeleton fight. Don't want to die with all this good loot. Looks like nothing sees me. Maybe they killed each other. Okay, something definitely died over here. They could have killed each other. Shaman Trophy! There's a skeleton, I see it. He sees me. Oh, I stuck so much damage through my block. I need better, uh... I need better... what is it? I need better armor. Oh! Where did you come from? Let's do archery strats because of finewood bow. Yeah, excellent. Another trophy! I'm having insane RNG! I'll be able to color code everything! Can we get one more, one more bone fragment, please? I just need one more. 
Well, then why am I doing this? Blueberries, excellent. Copper. Copper so close is so good. Oh, let's drop something not as useful. Blueberries are really good. And I'm gone. I gotta go. Great dwarf. That's fine. I just gotta go. Gotta go. Bye. I'm out. Start simple. Always start off the, your encounters with range if you can. And then go to melee from there. Okay. Finewood bow already putting in work. Investments are paying off. Here we go. Okay. Oh, uh, I want the coins. I don't care about the flint. Torch is better than... Not that. Torch is better than the boar trophy. Okay. Black forest. Alright, I gotta... I gotta go back. The deer... Oh. oh. Oh, 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 Yes. The turnaround is everything. We have a boar over there. Constant good RNG here. Deer over there. Things are going well. Oh, the fine wood bow drop off is so good compared to the crude bow. Wow. Oh, that was a one star. Uh, rocks. Another deer over there. We're getting really lucky here. That was awful. There we go. Another trophy feels good. Is that a boar over there? No, my eyes are just deceiving me. But those are boar. Or that's a boar. No, those are boar, plural. Come here. That was nine. Thank you, game, for giving me all these opportunities to use the bow. Fifteen leather. Alright, we're good. Mission accomplished. Head right back to the house. It's probably going to be daytime when I get back there. Just fine, honestly. Yep, it's already becoming dawn. Nice. I'll grab the resin if I... Yeah. Might as well. Oh, there's a deer. I didn't even see you. You didn't make any noise at all. Where's the turnaround? Where's the turnaround? There's a turnaround, it was long. The deer turned around and went back to, uh, back to its starting area, wherever that is. Yep. I think it just kind of stopped moving there. Or did I just lose track of it? I just lost track of it. Oh, come on. Got it. Get this gray or grayling too. Yeah. So smooth with it. Oh. 
constant deer. So you still need to go in that direction. All right. All right. How much stuff? So much stuff. So much stuff. You even got a skeleton trophy. That's really good. That's another color coding. Nice little decoration. Another deer. I love when they flop over like that. It's so silly. Let's see. Any more boar would be perfect. Just get as many boar as I can. That berry. If you see these patches of color on like uphill, they're they're safe to walk on and regen stamina. But steep things like this, you'll slide down until you hit another little patch of color like that. So over here, it's no good. Patch of color, I'm good. Over here, no good. Patch of color, I I just passed it by. <laughs> uh, until the angle is not steep enough where you can just stand on it regardless so see this is a little steeper than like up here yeah but i could go from patch of color patch of color patch of color maybe it was too steep or not enough color patch of color there we go there's another deer anyway it'll become very useful when you're in the mountains. Eventually. It's also good to just be aware of uh, the footing that you can have when you're trying to snipe deer. Because last episode I fell into water. That is because I foolishly stepped onto, uh, you know, too steep area with no color on it. How we doing? How's this patch? How's this field? There's a boar down there. See if I can do some silly things. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what 1100 hours in this game will get you. Uh. Yep. Uh, was that a boar or a deer? It was a boar, yeah. See, there's a clear again, which means I need to cut inland. Now, there's something else that's, like, really weird is that I'm, I'm always, like, when I'm looking around with the camera... Uh, I'm not just like looking tunnel vision dead ahead, like center view. I'm always looking at the far corner of uh, of the vision. I really want that in focus because even like in foggy situations, like the far corners will somehow be a little bit more visible, and uh, it's really, really good. For spotting enemies, like I did that for fulling camps too, like really, really late game. Uh, so far, late game. Just able to like see certain specific types of enemies and their details from the corner. Probably something to do with the shader and how it works, I don't know. Any friends in this field that I can just easily pick off? There probably are, but I don't see them. It's a good thing that I've set up base in a uh, in a mega field. 
That's good. It's not terribly close to water or black forest, but it's like there's black forest here and there's black forest over there. So I have two options. Decently close. Which ain't bad. It's a good, uh, what is it? It's a good compromise. That's the word I'm looking for. Fuel that up. I want to fuel that up a little more. I don't want to be smoked out here. Let's hmm. break this down. So I'm not going to step on it. There we go. Wood. Eyes. Resin. I'm going to take this, this. Put all the meat away. Four bones. It's so sad. Berries away. Where's my old stuff? Yes, here it is. Put the butte berries in here and the carrot seeds. Coins will go here. Or deer stuff. Let's see. What else do I need for... What else do I need for the tanning rack? I assume some wood, right? Put the berries and mushrooms away. Flint. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the question is where the, where the hell is this gonna go? This is a big fella. This tanning rack is large and in charge. No, nah, this, yeah, this, okay. I need to expand. And I think I know where I'll do it. I'll do it on this side of the house. Oh, but there's a rock here. Uh, okay. Maybe I can expand this way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch more wood. And let's figure this out. Okay. Where do I expand towards? Break that down, first and foremost. Uh, I think this is a good expansion. I want to have this look a little awkward because I want to see the plants. I want to see them. I don't want to make a mistake like last episode and destroy some of them. It's going to be really weird architecturally, but that's okay. I could also build onto this oak eventually, which is cool. Ugin, what the- what are you trying to tell me now? Oh yeah, encumbrance, that's right, yeah. Yeah, if your weight goes above your current weight limit, yeah, you'll be really slow and terrible and you don't want that. Except for certain moments when you have to craft certain things. Do this. Yeah, this is gonna look sick. Ooh, <laughs> look at this as an entrance. I'm actually gonna keep these damaged because of how it looks. Oh, that's so good. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, so now I should be able to make a tanning rack uh, here. And it should have... Yeah, that looks so good. Uh, I wonder if I can put it here. Because there's like less plants over here. That works! Workbench level 3! That's huge. Okay, now I have very limited leather. And put materials here, at least for now. Right? Yeah. Flint goes back in there. Oh, that's so cool. The bees are probably ready. Yes. I 
just gonna store those for now. I'm not gonna eat them. And honey, such a good number. Let's see, everything got a good angle. Yeah. Keep this box going. And then we'll do another gate. Gonna look very boxy, but that's okay. And then I kind of want to have the plant stuff hidden. So we'll continue with that. Hmm. We'll continue with the 45 degree style. These corners, though, I love these corner pieces. Yeah. Yeah, I think a 26 degree would hide that in a way. I don't want that. I want this to be beautiful. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, how is this gonna look though? Ooh. Not bad, not the best. Because that looks... I don't know, this is looking pretty great. I think I can afford to keep this one spot open. And just have it look like this. Yeah. Grab one of these. And you snap, please. Please. I'm gonna have to get up there. This is so cool. Oh. Immaculate vibes. I'm gonna keep this uh, grass as well. Hmm. Why continue the style? That's so nice, like... But do I continue it, like... Like this? You know? Oh, I'm, not, I'm so not a builder. Uh, no, it's fine. Is there extra plant that I'm hiding? No, okay. That's my number one priority. Okay, I should get up on the roof over there. And then run over. Or I can just do this. Yeah. Okay, not bad. And then, let's see, how is this? Eh, that might do well. It's kind of awkward from that angle, but like, oh yeah, it's kind of terrible from that angle, but at the same time, this is all about like interior, right? Like, that's pretty good. We can fix it later once we get, like, better building materials, too. Once we have some neat, really neat pieces. Especially, like, a reliable source of fine wood. Okay, can I get those sweet, sweet 14 minutes of comfort? Can I sleep? I can. Alright. I can sleep. I did not like that shaking for a moment, and then I realized whatever 
would be possible to cause that shaking does not exist here at the moment. Uh, nope. Get rid of that log roll since I'm done with that. I still need to explore, like, up there. What I'm going to do is I need more, even more boar. So I'm just going to go field, 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 up and explore there. I'm going to go down and around killing as many boar as I can. Because, how many arrows? 48, that's fine. Because I need the leather. Now that I have a good workbench, I really need leather and bones. I need the leather to upgrade the shield. I need the bones to upgrade my helmet and my club. You know, high priority on the helm on the uh, club rather than the helmet. Railing down there. Always take your opportunity to get your snipes in. Investing in bow skills is really, really important early on. Just makes things so much easy, convenient, and powerful. Leaves you with a badass feeling later on. I think I've struck a chord with a variety of people and their perspectives with that one. But it is true. All of it is true. Oh man, after the boar fiesta, it's a bit of a boar drought today. Nope, there's one. Ooh, overshot. Oh, I don't... I don't even know what happened there. That like phased through the boar! Okay, there we go. What the hell happened there? I must be like hitting the weird one part of the boar model that doesn't have a hurt box. Maybe like the top butt just does not have hurt box on its model. I don't know. Hey, 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 dear. Come here. You're in them saplings. Wonderful. Don't be afraid to just get an unnaturally large amount of raspberries early on. Like I mentioned prior, we'll be using them in bulks of 10 later for recipes. So, gather, gather, gather. Game rewards preparation. I see a lot of uh, streamers, players, I don't have the bow, they say, oh yeah, I'm ready to fight XY boss, and they don't have their stuff fully upgraded to, like, when they can, and then they, they die, horrible deaths, and they're struggling, and that's because they're new players, you have to max out your stuff if you're new, however, for your lack of experience. Only experienced players can really go about affording using unupgraded stuff when they, when otherwise uh, they could just be maxing out their things. Think of it like this. You are artificially imposing a challenge run on yourself when it's your first playthrough if you don't max out your items. Would you want to do that for an already punishing game? No. So max out your stuff. Please. Alright, I'm in a new land here. This looks like a mega field or a continuation of the mega field. But like the mega field starts with my house, goes down over here, round up and up here. Yeah. 
Beautiful vines. Usher. Or raspberries. Oh, this is a good raspberry patch. A little too far away from the house to mark. But it's part of the mega field, so... I'll be making good use of it, regardless, just by wandering around here every now and then. This is a gargantuan field. I'm so glad this is part of the mega field with my house in it. More berries over here. If I could find a village, that would be perfect. A little raspberry village. That would be ideal. Some sort of rune stone. I'm not, I'm not reading those. I've read them so much. So, so much. Oh, this field is absolutely gargantuan. More black forest over there. I'll go over there in just a moment. I want to see this first. There's more field over there. I can see it through the trees. The little bits of light sticking out. It's dynamic lighting, so it's light when it's uh, less tree coverage. Which we will use to spot danger later. Yep, fields extend that way. Wow. This is really good field RNG. Okay, before I go over that way, because that, that way sort of doubles back towards the house. Like, I can just go down here. I want to go over here, because this way is by Black Forest, and I can just turn around. Okay, you can see how through, the, through these trees, it's like all dense. And then through there, you can see it's like ocean, so it's all light, because it's no trees, of course. And then through here, it's kind of light. That's because there's the field again, right? There's part of the mega field. Ooh, small patch of black forest here. Don't like that. That just kind of snuck up on me. Black forests in certain biomes can spawn in like extremely, extremely small patches. But you have to be really careful. I've had just like a certain dangerous area of a black forest just like appear on its own isolated with the dangerous enemy uh outside that area it's kind of chilling out uh really scary this is cool this is a really good view this is a really good view what the hell this is a great building area not too close to black forest well, probably too close, yeah. Maybe like over here? There's still meadows over there? Yeah, this would be perfect. Because then you could see them all coming from up the hill. All the black forest nasties. It's about to say no boar, turn around to boar. Great. Come here. Give me the boar meat. If I can find one little stone structure. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, that's a burial chamber. Ah, I didn't block in time. Oh, well, he's dead. I have to focus on the, uh, the bow guy. This is a really bad situation. The parried bitch. Uh, one more guy. Perfect. Excellent. What's up, Hugin? Hugin. Hugin. Alright. Uh, let's put this marker down. Chamber. It's a chamber. There will always be skeletons outside of burial chambers when you first see them. Three, in fact. And then every once in a while, I forget how many days. There will be another skeleton that will spawn outside. 
Alright, we got bones. Oh, where did you come from? Not that I'm complaining. We got bones, we got boars. That's pretty good. No bees, but we have two, really. And that's really good. Not as good as it could be, but that's fine. Okay, so that's uh, the end of the mega field on this end. I'm just going to curl down here now. Seven, that's really good. And three, that's enough to make the club quality two. Really nice. Going to double back. Ooh, mushroom. Think. Nope. I was wrong. I was wrong. This nub of the branch, the end of the branch, I thought was a mushroom. Three deer, that's good luck. My aim. Come on. I say my aim as if I didn't snipe the shit out of that one boar earlier. When I'm when I'm on my game, like a real marksman type beat, I can get all three deer in just like one go before they really do anything. How many arrows? 33. Not bad. But they're just going to turn around at some point. Oh, hello. Excellent. Two more trophies. So much meat. More hide. We need all of this material in stores. There's a structure, I love it, I love it. Another rune stone. Ooh, we got two structures and there's like a boar, or is that a deer? That's a boar. Mm. There we go. Oh, the views just don't end, do they? Love Valheim. Another structures! Very good RNG. What about the bees, though? Do we have good bee RNG? Take this and this. Come on, Grayling. Hope you like that. Structure number two. No bees. That's sad. Oh, fell off. Plus ratio. Bad. There we go. Okay, looks like the field ends there, which means we have. More area over here to explore. Another boar. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, I forget that, like, fine wood bow has a little bit of uh, sway to it. Or, I forget the word to describe it. It's like, the arrow alters direction slightly sometimes so you might not be a hundred percent accurate by rng which is really unfortunate but that stops as soon as you get like better arrows or no not better arrows better bows so in the swamps we'll be getting a really underrated uh bow that's like one of the best bows and just incredible to use and uh, it's optimal even like end game. Well, tied optimal, balanced in a beautiful way. Iron Gate's really good at balancing certain things. 
And uh, that has like no no sway to it like at all. Whew, there was some sway to that shot, but I still still managed to get him. Snipe these necks. Just for the experience. What am I what's going on? There we go. I also want neck tails for a certain recipe. Later on, neck trophy is kind of cute. It'll be good decoration. We use this bush to regen stamina going up the steep, colorless part of the hill. Almost done with this mega field. Yeah, you see how quick I am eating food out of my inventory? And you, like, you consider how long food lasts. This is why I don't put it in the hot bar. It's just real quick. Okay, we're out of the fields. Which means I can just head straight down to the house. Hello, dear. In Hearth and Home, they added, like, a little pause sometimes for deer before they start moving. Some deer will just kind of hang out, and you can melee them a lot easier. I think it's because people were uh, frustrated with deer. Like, I don't know. Maybe they just decided to put that in there. I have no idea. I think it's silly. Makes things a little too convenient. And I was already fine hunting boar, then sniping deer, or just sneaking up on deer with a little control, you know? Bees! That is exactly what I'm looking for. I have enough inventory room for them. Yes. Added another solid, like, asset of. Honey production, I guess you could call it. I don't know. Look at me and my Viking assets. Oh wow, just right over his head. Instead of like the Dow Jones, it's the uh, the fucking Bjorn Johnson. And, uh, speculating on how much honey we're gonna get for Hive. Oh yes, I think there's going to be, uh, 12 uh, overall production in the uh, coming days. Constant, constant deer. I didn't even see that of the deer. Oh my god, there's three of them. Well, wet, no rested. My stamina regen is terrible. The poor deer just noticed me. Oh well. No, deer, don't wander like that. I missed a shot. I got that one. 101. Hello? Damage output. I'm not even using my flint arrows. I gotta save those. A boar! Oh my god. Why are you move maneuvering like that? That was some like hit and run genius strats from the boar for like two seconds there. Look at all this material. What's my weight? Okay. I need nine wood. Perfect. 
Nine wood plus one wood is ten wood. Come join me, Terra Tanzanite for math. Viking math. Make beehives. So much material. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's combine these stacks here. Yeah? Put some of the food away. Oh. Ooh. Got a lot here. I'm gonna make another chest. Just because I have so much stuff going on. I'm gonna put it over here. Furniture. Take the seeds and the buke berries. Put those in there. I'll put necktail, extra meat. Oh my god, so many berries. Put extra berries over here. Take the bones. Got all this glorious material, which I don't want to keep. Feathers. Honey. Hey, 14, 14, okay. So now we need core wood. For the uh, glorious uh, gainer. Glory gainer. Nah. Uh, for the glorious stag breaker that I'll be making use of in this playthrough. Ooh, dear god, cape. I want that too, but the upgraded club takes precedent. Absolutely. Need more. I need more bones. Ah, oh, 20 is not enough. I calculated 20. The 20 was clearly wrong. I'm gonna make another chest. I'm gonna make a couple of chests. Yeah. Make three more chests. This one will be the chest of materials. And then I'll have a trophy chest and a valuables chest. Go here and here. Trophies. Valuables. And eh, we just have 10 wood to spare. And I think that'll be the episode. Thanks for watching. And I, uh, I hope, hope you had a good time. Learned some things. And I'll see you guys some other time.